Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. God, there's weird lighting on my face cam here. Uh, it's daytime too, so I don't know, that's strange. Hmm. It's pretty bright in here, so I don't know why it's going like that. Anyways, I've come back to the church of Ellie, or El, uh, because we need to upgrade some of our weapons, mainly my short sword, which has been pretty neglected so far. Uh, I'm doing like zero damage. What I've done basically since the last episode is I've cleared out some of these catacombs here in Limgrave, some of the useless catacombs. Uh, just to get a couple of levels, there's not really a lot you can get from these. I got some ghost glove worth and glove worth from the catacombs. You know, just doing the usual stuff. I don't see any other possibility here than moving on to Margit because yeah, I could go down to the Weeping Peninsula, but I want to do that after. And then we have basically a bunch of other shit. The dragon, the this cave, patches stuff and all that. But I think before we try any of that, let's try the main event, which is Margit. I am going to summon Sorcerer Rajir. The reason is, he's a sorcerer. We're meant to be bros, so... It's only natural that I, I summon him and we become pew-pew buddies when taking on Margit. This is gonna, of course, like, if you don't know what NPC summons do, is they do increase the boss's HP. Uh, so he's gonna have a lot of HP, Margit, but we'll just see how we do. I don't expect a lot because I'm still pretty weak, uh, but, you know, let's see what happens. This guy's voice actor is probably the best in this game. I love this guy's voice actor. He does such a good job. By the flame of Anime jump. Cool. So, uh, God, that does like no damage. Yeah, he has them delays. He has them spells. Does he have them spells? He does have them spells. Yeah, and he has that tracking too. I want Rajier to sort of take up aggro a little bit. He's so stupid. Like, the NPC summons are so dumb in this game. Uh, because with the spirit summons, it's okay because at least they have a shit ton of HP. But, damn. Yeah, okay. Now I want to try it without Rajir. I don't think... Like, not summoning him doesn't affect his questline, obviously. I think they got rid of that feature. Uh, where, you know, like, Dark Souls did that a lot, where... The summoning of NPCs was required to advance certain questlines. I absolutely hated that, because... Again, it just... Jesus. Seriously? Okay. Just pick up... Where the hell... Why is it all the way over there? God. Okay, I might have gotten myself into a little bit of trouble. That does 44 damage to him. That is absolutely, absolutely insane. Uh, that's like nothing. I just want to see what the spells do. Oh, by the way, I didn't say... I think I've picked up or, or picked out my main weapon. Uh, fuck, what is it called? It's a straight sword you get in Real Lucaria. Yeah, this might be the solution here. So I can spell spam him to death.
Yeah, it should work. Because... Yeah, with two... Flasks. Yeah. Fuck them delays. I don't remember if I've done the Weeping Peninsula before this guy in my first playthrough. Oh yeah, okay. Heal Normal. Heal Crimson, or not Crimson, Cerulean. If I don't screw this up a lot, I should have this. Oh shit. I say as I'm screwing it up a lot. Shit. Okay, I'm out of spells. He's done. Cool. Easy. Easy money. Uh, yeah. Enemies still don't know how to deal with the fucking spell spam, do they? Oh, man. Yeah. Still don't know what the hell that means because he shows up like once more, well twice more, but the third one is more god of course. Yeah, that was easy money, like really, compared to like how weak I am. We got this. Just Glintstone and R1 spam is all we need to impress you, right? Let's do this. So this is an interesting place like this, the round table hold, because from what I've gathered lore wise, and we're really going into the lore today, uh, like this thing, I think seems to exist within the earth tree, right? Because, <coughs> excuse me, because when the earth tree starts getting fucked up, this place goes with it as well. And well, that's like an interesting little tidbit. Uh, Cause this definitely because there is a real real round table hold and this ain't it all right let's get to 20 uh get a little bit more mind and yeah i do think we need at least 15 endurance so yeah what's the weapon okay mr sketchhead editing or editing mr sketchhead in the future please put the name of the weapon it's a short sword the, the name is going to be somewhere on screen uh, you can pick it up in Rhea Lucaria. It has very low stat investment. Apparently, it's good for int builds. It scales well with intelligence. I think that's going to be a perfect company, man, because I'm going to be using the spells anyways 90% of the time. But I think that weapon with that stat investment is just like the perfect choice uh, for us. Right, this guy has a quest too, which I like completely missed. Dialos. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna sort of speed this dialogue along here. Well, actually, no, that's a short dialogue. We also have Mr. Oh man, we're gonna have such a showdown. Such a magic spam showdown. <laughs> You're gonna get fucked up. He has, does he does have cool armor? 
He looks like the guy from Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I don't know if I said this. The professor. Professor means. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professor means. This guy. Is he pissed at us because we're a magician? That's how it used to be in previous games. Nah. I see it. But I use Glintstone spam. We're not gonna study them bullshit incantations. We're gonna have an entire playthrough dedicated to that. There's Ensha. What do you want? Uh, we have you, actually. Don't you? Yeah, it's 3,000. That's pretty expensive for this stage of the game. But that's good. It's a memory stone. Increases attunement slots. I do like, you know, I didn't mention this before, like, it wasn't worth elaborating in the review of the game I did, but I really like that attunement slots are not tied to your stats, because usually what ended up happening in the previous games is, because attunement sort of scaled as well, like, you needed more points to get more slots, it just became a little bit untenable. Like, I don't think anyone ever had more than, like, four or five slots. Which means that when there's a spell that needs, like, three attunement slots to use, you just don't end up using it because the sort of trade-off is just not worth it. Oh, yeah, I never, I've never gone in here, have I? And I think I do have stone sword keys. Yeah. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, and there's that one. I don't think I have enough for this one right I do okay I think that's worth it I do not remember oh it's the crossbow now what else do we have here assassin's prayer book oh it's a stupid it's an incantation thing isn't it I think yeah. Prayer book of the round table holds assassins. Learn assassins approach and darkness. Interesting. I didn't even know those spells existed. Well, thinking back now, that was a bit of a waste. But hey, that's cool to look at. We know what to come and look at when we're doing our incantation playthrough. Uh, we're gonna talk to him in a little bit. He has a lot of dialogue. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna touch anything. Ashes of War. I'm happy with what I have on my sword. What do I have on my sword? I don't even know. I actually don't have anything, right? Just stick with the standard affinity. And I don't have anything for the astrologer's staff. Cool. And you know what? I want to get a little bit into Fia's quest line here. I think I've heard she has a pretty cool quest line. I want to do, you know, like, I'm just trying to sort of clear out the uh, quest lines and all that. We might as well try. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I can look it up now. Alright, let's have a cuddle session. So apparently what this thing does, this Balduchin's Battle Blessing, and I totally didn't know this, I think when it's in your inventory it drains 5% of your total HP, which is very fucked up. Uh, that it just doesn't tell you. Uh, and I think you need to use it to get rid of the effect. Like you can see it too, like it shows for up, shows up for a second. Thanks Fia. And after that I'll be looking up how to do this because this is as far as I can go, realistically. Use FP to temporarily boost boys. Yeah. 
All right. What does this do? Actually, because you can't... Oh, no, no, you, you can? What the fuck? Because I thought you can only change your appearance at Rhea Lucaria, but maybe you can do it here. Whatever. It don't matter. I don't think there's anybody else here currently. So we can get going. This time around, I will actually be going down into the Weeping Peninsula. That is or was going to be my next goal. Although, let's visit Selen. Let's hit up Selen. Okay, I have like no souls, <laughs> so <laughs> all right, I can't. I can't get jack shit. I don't. I don't have. I'm broke. All right, Selen. I'll come back later when I'm not broke. We could try egg heal, and spell spam him to death. Right? Ah, later. I want to go to the Weeping Peninsula. Cool. So, really what I'm going to try going and doing here. God, I can't even talk. What I was going to say is what I'll try doing here is... I don't even know. Why do I want to come here? There's nothing here really, but... This is a good chance to pick up Sacred Tears. Because we need to start increasing that. Also a good place to pick up some souls. Look at their jumps. You guys have a goofy ass jump. In what souls game has an enemy ever had a jump like that, right? So, yeah, we're just gonna sort of explore here. I will sort of edit around some of the less interesting stuff. Believe me. But, I am going to try getting this Irina questline down because, well, why not? I fucked it up because I couldn't find the guy. And by the time I did, I had already cleared out the fort. And I was stupid because he was there and I just didn't go far enough along a path, a certain path. And I forgot about it by the time I came around. So I think... There's also a cave here that I missed. Obviously, there's a lot of shit that I missed, but... That's besides the point. Trina's Lily. Maybe I'm mistaken. Weird. Oh, it's probably... Yeah, it's probably down there. That's the one. Alright, let's pick up the map here before we go any further. And then she becomes Hyera, doesn't she? I think. Later on. She has the same voice actor too. Secreted and secreted. Two very different things, be careful. Yeah, 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 okay, cool, 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 cool. This is what I do. If you've ever watched me, Mr. Sketchhead, play a Souls game, you, go, you guys know I skip dialogue. Not always, but... In this game, I'll try to contain myself, sort of, and consider the fact that this is still a new game. But sometimes it ain't easy being cheesy. Come on. Get parried. That was a weird, weird parry. Did you guys see that? Oh yeah, I have on the stupid talisman. You know which one. It's not stupid, but it's... It gets you HP from critical attacks, so it's pretty useful.
God, magic is so powerful. But really, the thing is... I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I totally forgot. Oh, yeah, it's these things. Yeah, you think you have to be weak, too. Of course you are weak. You can see how quickly, relatively quickly, we're picking up souls here or runes or whatever. I do like this area for that. This game, maybe this is not something I've mentioned in like the review setting, but this game I do think has weird sort of soul scaling. Like, bosses absolutely give a shit ton. Bosses give a ridiculous amount of souls. And then a lot of other things just don't. They just barely give anything. So... It's a bit of a strange mix here. Mm, how did it go? Oh yeah, there's the merchant and the... Oops. And the thing is past that. Past the merchant. Cool. And then there is a tower up there, right? There's one of those magic towers too that I think grants you basically a slot, an attunement slot. Do you have anything interesting? Demi human mobs, raises maximum HP, you have some bullshit here. Do sell smithing stones for 200, which is not expensive. Uh, well, only three. Fuck it. Let's get that. That for three smithing stones, even at this stage of the game, is pretty much a deal. I'm gonna have to look at the glintstone stabs in this game. Uh, like, what would be the best at what level? Probably there's like a ton of them. And, you know, because of the way magic works in this game, which I haven't really discussed, but that's how it is. Uh, in this game, there's like a lot of weird sort of magic classes. Like, there are spells, like sorceries that scale off of intelligence and all this kind of shit. And incantations that require both faith and int. Yeah, and all that jazz. So, and there are corresponding glintstone stabs for each of those things. Why the hell can't I game? Seriously? Sometimes there's like an enemy four kilometers away and the game is like, nope, not gonna let you view the map. Not gonna. Easiest way to do what to do is just reset. Easiest way what to do, did I seriously say that? Alright. I gotta remember relatively like where everything is. But yeah, we can check out this tower. I don't think I... Oh, fuck. You can... You can probably catapult yourself up there, right? That's what you gotta do. Because I don't think there's an entrance there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Great turtle sh... Oh, is that a sh... Is that a shield? And the warming stone. What the hell is that? Use FP to continuously... Oh, yeah, it's that. That works on spirit summons, too, which I think is pretty useful. Please tell me that's a shield. It's a fucking turtle shield. Oh, my God. Shield fashioned from a great turtle shell. <laughs> nice. Boost stamina recovery, too. Interesting. All right, so these I am going to show because... Like, what the deal is, is these towers almost always have sorcery-related things in them. So, we gotta seek three wise beasts, and I have looked this up previously. If you think that's cheap, come at me. Yeah, there's one in this water. Yeah, there it is. I don't know why you gotta kill them, like, what an asshole. But hey, that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. There's another one. 
And the third one is a bit further. Yep. Easy money. Yeah, they gave you this one for free. Obviously. Like, yeah, you gotta be a real idiot not to... Well, the third one is a little bit hidden. I'm not gonna lie. I do always love the vistas from these towers. Give you cool vantage points. Always some sorcerer here, probably getting stoned. As they always do. Yeah, we get a free memory slot, which is always convenient. Alright. Let's go back and let's head down to Castle Morn. So what I'm gonna do is... So what I'm gonna do is basically the usual. I'll head down to the castle, hit up the bonfire there, the side of grace. I don't really want to advance too far into the castle. I'm way too underleveled for it. Oh, did the game just... Damn, pop in and frame rate. Shit. And then what I'll do is clear out some of these dungeons in this area. And I will show getting all these secret seals because... Sacred seals. Because those are fairly important. I think that's worth showing. And yeah, that's gonna be just like it. I'll probably come back to Castle Morn itself a, just a little bit later. Just a little bit. Sorry, Torrent. Okay, you don't like magic either, do you? You don't do too well. Yeah, easy. Did I just get this gray bow? I'm never gonna be able to use it, but... Well, cool to have. Alright, and this says something lore-related. The Siege of Castlemore, a lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall to the hand of Lord Godfrey. Yeah, this place is weird, like, these, this castle seems to be directly tied to... Like Godric and Godfrey, I don't even know the exact lore, but it's definitely tied. Told you, I am a true lore master, as you guys probably know. Excellent. And we're only 29 minutes in and I have jack shit to cut out from this playthrough, honest. Not playthrough, but this episode, honestly. So that is very, very convenient. I love being efficient. Uh, yeah, that this is like the general area where shit goes down. <laughs> that's all I can say. There's the merchant that sells you the lamp. This is a really important continent to go to. You know what? I don't know what the closest approach angle is. Probably here. Let's try the dragon. We've had Margit. Margit was mad easy. I am like drunk on power. So let's do this. Probably should have upgraded my weapon a little bit before going, but whatever. Oh, yeah, and if there is night, if it's nighttime, there's that Knight Rider <laughs> or whatever Ring Wraith that shows up. Fucking Ring Wraith imitator. That's also pretty important. Well, not pretty important, but I've not done anything with them. I haven't fought a single one on my first playthrough. That's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool first entrance. Uh-oh. Okay, so his head is a weak point. Yeah, it's taking more damage, I think. Oh, fucking... What the hell? Don't get caught on that thing. Is it a weak... Jesus, <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, alright, that is... It's, it's, a, it's just slightly early. Slightly early, cool. Listen, I, I will... 
I will sort of learn my lesson. I'm not that arrogant that I don't recognize that I shouldn't be doing something. All right, Dragon. Can I just pick up my 2100 souls? Where the shit is it? Is that it? Yes, it is. Gotta hide it there, of course. And we are going to leave like a bitch. Let's see where the hell he is. I do know the ruins are here. Okay, he's gone. Interesting that it barely follows you. Fine. Okay, you know what? We'll do the weak-ass ruins that are here. Because that's all I'm, like, all I'm strong enough for. But this transports you somewhere, doesn't it? This is one of those trap pots. Fuck, this is the one that takes you to Kaled, isn't it? I think. Come on, lock on. You know what? You gotta lock on to the fucking dog. Yeah. Here I'm a little bit more in my element. Magic spamming these weak hollows, you know. That's more like it. Yeah, this is definitely... Fuck, is it this one? If I get there, I'm so screwed. I really don't remember now. It might not be. Oh, wrong flask. Bruh. But you know, I hope you guys, like, sort of are okay with this far. And let me know if not, where I don't really show, like, that, like, those parts of me exploring the legacy dun not the legacy dungeons, but the mini dungeons. Yep. Hmm. The bonk smoke starts coming out, and you know you gotta go. This is 100% the one that takes you to kill. It's such a dick move, too, when you think about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you're okay with this, because what I don't want to do is sort of... I guess, like, end up showing the same thing, especially since they're, like, the, the mini dungeons, which are... I'm not sure they are interesting enough to warrant... Showing a second time around. Unless there is something specifically magic related in them. So that's why I'm deciding to only show like the important stuff. Do I have a weapon that I can do this with? Does this count? This doesn't count, can't it? We'll see. He has a longer quest line too, which I'll tr I'll try doing it. Oh, hello there! <laughs> Look at that. he's just patient and he's gone. Okay, cool. Peace out. This is how we make peace with the wildlife in Elden Ring. Excellent. I'm a regular like bear grills, not bear grills. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, does any weapon work? Because I thought you need like a proper heavy weapon or something, but maybe not. He's so polite. Where does he reach? Please tell me, Alexander, where he just reached to give this item to me. I am really curious. Because that looked assy where you took your hand. So I got to the point with him where he like eats up the corpses around Radon. And then I don't remember. Set 
Well, it's a little bit sexist, but whatever. Gotta bring up the breasts. Talking to a sorceress. How rude. Well, this is the Middle Ages, so whatever. Alright, cool. What I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'll start wrapping up the episode. Uh, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I feel like we got quite a lot done today. Uh, well, Margit was the main thing. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going around here. We'll do some of the side stuff. I'll always explain what I did. Uh, how I leveled up, what dungeons I've cleared. And of course, we'll get going in probably the Weeping Peninsula. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring, the Sorcerer Run. If you did, as always, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.